Hey guys, it's Chilla Thriller here, and I'm bringing you my first gameplay video in a long time. Uh, this is a Rome Total War Online 2 vs 2 uh, battle. I'm in command of the Carthaginians, as you can see here. Uh, so before it starts, I'll just show you guys my army. This consists of six Sacred Band spearmen. I believe gold attack upgrade, and that should be it. Six pointy infantry. Uh, these guys have silver attack upgrades, and I think a bronze defense as well. Four slingers with no upgrades. And four sacred band cavalry, all with gold upgrades, and I think one defense as well. So I'm going to go ahead and double the game speed to get to one we're actually playing. Takes a little while. They take a while to set up. Okay, I'm going to pause it when I get to the actual gameplay, and then I'll show you guys their armies in a second. Alright guys, we're back again, and now I'm going to show you my ally's army. He is command of Germania. His name is Cretian Archers. His army consists of four barbarian warlords, all I believe with gold attack upgrades, one chosen axeman, and six berserkers, all with two attack upgrades as you can see here and one chosen archer warband um, he as you can see he does not have a lot of units with him I, I told him to bring more infantry units like the chosen axeman but he wanted to bring all berserkers so I let him do that anyways now my two enemies I'm facing in this battle are both playing as Rome one is the SPQR Romans purple guys right there and the other is the Julii Romans. Very cool looking. Now, this opponent, his name is Bendurer, Bendurder, however you say that. His army consists of six Praetorian cavalry. All, I don't believe, with any upgrades. I don't think his entire army has upgrades except for his archers. Two urban cohorts and four legionary cohorts, or excuse me, five. Julii Romans is I believe five yeah five urban cohorts all with one attack upgrade and three Praetorian cavalry along with five uh, archer auxilia I don't think with any any attack upgrades yeah no no actually they're fully upgraded gold gold don't know why he did that to his archers but that's his choice so I me and my ally kind of got into a unified defense position with his archers in line with my slingers as you see, you get, though, these guys do hardly anything in the battle. They're kind of a waste. And his berserkers I just disappeared. Oh, yeah, they're hiding. <laughs> um, they they don't help out that much until later on in the battle, but you'll see how they come useful la later. And here's my sacred band cavalry. Uh, we're going to get in a cav fight in a little bit. You'll see up here. I'm going to pause it and get to the action when it starts, so I can save time on the video. One sec. Alright guys, we're back again, and this is when the action is just beginning to start. At the beginning, I was kind of sitting there taking Archer Fire from his Archer Exilia with attack upgrades, so I didn't want to let that happen. So I moved them up. I think I lost maybe four guys. I, I hardly lost anybody. But a lot of my skirmishers got taken out, just kind of sitting there taking the fire. And all my cavalry, I pulled up here, which was a mistake in uh, about a minute. You'll see why. But luckily I saved them. And right now I'm starting to move my Sacred Band up because I'd like to meet his Urbans and his Legionary. He actually has four Urban Cohorts. I said three earlier. That's my bad. And now I'm going to pull up the attack. I'm going to pause it again until I get to the actual fight. Alright guys, sorry for all the pausing. Just trying to cut down because I have to be under 10 minutes. As you see, his Pila are having a ton of uh, damage to my Sacred Band Spearmen. And that's going to... Uh, it's going to cause a bit of a problem, but... It's only because they're fighting the urbans right now that it's a big problem. So this part of my line I noticed is extremely weak from the Pila. So I'm going to bring two groups of Pointy Infantry to come support that line. And I'm going to set up my rest of my army in a defensive position to protect the flanks of my Sacred Band. Now, right in here, he decided not a very smart choice to pull all his cavalry up with his uh, units, his infantry, into my spears. So... That wasn't a very smart decision on my opponent's part. 
he did have a pretty good effect on this unit right here, but I wasn't too worried about that because there was two of them and the morale is pretty good. So right here I noticed what he was doing and I bring all my cavalry in to assist my men because I noticed they were getting hammered pretty bad. I was hoping that they would last long enough for me to uh, get over there. And I'm going to launch a bit of more coordinated attack and not just ram into all of his units at the same time like my opponent did because for some reason I thought that was a good idea. I'm going to meet them head on here but then pull out in a second so you see I can outflank my men or his cavalry excuse me now what my enemy should have done here my opponent here uh, Benderer he should have pulled out his cavalry and launched a hammer and anvil strike behind my men but he didn't and that was his mistake and when he saw my cavalry coming around he didn't do anything either so I pretty much got a free flank attack and you're gonna see here that I'm gonna surround these guys with my sacred band cavalry all with great upgrades so now this just completely changed that side of the battle. Here the Julii Romans are fending off against my friend with all his berserkers. And I'm bringing in the rest of my pointy infantry to bring on the Julii's urban cohorts. He tried to bring them up against my flank, but I stopped them with my Poinis. So as you can see there, we just killed uh, his general. And that caused a mass rout in this entire area. And now I have complete control of his, well, my opponent's right flank, which is extremely good. So I chase them for a little bit just to make sure they wouldn't stop from routing. And then I quickly pull all my cavalry back and smash into the right side of his flank, which you'll see here will route all of his units um, fairly soon. So I noticed my Germania ally was doing pretty good with his Berserkers against his Urbans. And I wasn't too worried about them anyways because Berserkers are just kind of insane and when they fight they're they're pretty intimidating really so I completely destroyed his army and he is no longer a threat which means I can focus all my sacred band which did not take as many casualties as I thought they would and I can focus the rest of my army on assisting my ally and taking out the Julia Romans so in in the lobby these guys were doing a lot of smack talking and uh, they were being quite rude while we were trying to you know put our army together they were being very impatient and such and uh so you know now we're kind of giving them the business i noticed he left his general unit here and i don't know if he did, wasn't aware of that but i wanted to take advantage of that and you know try and take out his general so i pulled in all my men here to uh try and trap his general so i could have the most effect here i pulled down my uh spears just in time for his cavalry to run right into a wall of spears, which was definitely his mistake. He saw that they weren't in phalanx position, so he wanted to take advantage of that, but luckily I caught him before he could attack me out of phalanx position, and that hurt him more than me. And now I am trying to trap his general in here, and I do just that with my sacred band cavalry. I route the rest of his units right here, and even his general. Soon his general will die though, I think he runs, yeah, I, my, um, my sacred band cavalry follows them until I kill them. So now all that's left of the purple romans is just their archers, which I'm not worried about because, yeah, they, maybe they're hitting the backs, but I don't even care about them right now. There I kill the Julia romans, and that's pretty much the end of the battle. I mean, after that, everyone was just kind of routing, and now we're just cleaning up. So, great game with my ally, uh, Creed and Archers against, let's see who that was, Berderden, Bert, Benderer, or however you say his name, and my other opponent, Tin Man. So, you know, you smack talk it in the lobby, and that doesn't always end up well, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, that was a fantastic game, as you can see, we just completely destroyed them, and I'm quite pleased with the outcome of that battle. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Sorry, this is my first battle. I've done in a while my first video I'm posting since I moved to Indiana finally. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. There'll be more coming soon, and talk to you guys later. Peace out.